All right, good to be out there. Um, you know, just continuing to work through. You know, like we said before, it's a little bit different because so many new guys, it's almost like a training camp feel. Um, we're normally in spring, just have your returning guys you're working with. So that's pretty exciting to have so many new guys that you get to coach up and figure out roles for them. Wayne, what can you tell us about uh, what, what you saw, if anything, relevant out of your quarterback play on the Saturday? Um, well, first of all, it wasn't a scrimmage, so all we did was practice. We just went in the stadium for part of it. So, um, you know, it wasn't near the evaluation of a scrimmage format. But, you know, I, I think they're all doing things good. Um, we've got to take care of the ball better, and um, especially when we push the ball downfield, too many interceptions. But, you know, this will, comp this will be an exciting competition. Um, I wouldn't really say didn't expect them to because we have high, high expectations for guys. But um, I just think the portal guys, you know, are more – it's not a hit and miss as a high school guy because you're seeing them play college football. So, um, you know, those guys, not to just focus on them, but they have looked really good. And, you know, that – you know, we didn't really – take a lot of guys necessarily that were at a major place but not playing, you know, that left just because they were, happy, were unhappy because they were sitting on the bench. And then that's more of a wild card because you're getting them and you really haven't seen film. You know, maybe they just sat out and redshirted or barely played. Most of these guys played. So, um, you know, it's, you know that, that, that's been good because it kind of the analytics of it, you know, as you look at it, you're saying, okay, well, here's – Here's these guys, and they all look like they can help us, you know, versus when you get your high school guys, you know, the first week or two, you know, you see some guys say, oh, those guys can help us, and some guys that are probably, you know, a ways away. How valuable, I know these guys are experienced and they've played, but how valuable is this time that you guys as a coaching staff gets to spend with them this spring? Um, really valuable, you know, to, um, you know, have a lot of returning guys, but then have all these new guys, and then it's challenging. So it's exciting, you know, because there's more to do than just your culture's already set. These kids already know expectations. I mean, these kids don't know how we tape for practice. You know, they don't know how we finish in practice, how, you know, all kinds of things. So um, that, that part's good. It's challenging for all the coaches to make sure they're going back, you know, to step one. Thank you. Yeah, I think it's gone really well. Um, you know, uh, the addition of Mason over there has allowed us to do that, to move people really to start the dominoes of moving people. And um, I think it's looked good so far. Just what you see in spring, positively or negatively, does it impact how you use the remaining portal slots you have available? For sure. You know, it's. Um, I don't know, I know I equate things to professional sports a lot or the NFL because that's really what we are now in all areas, it's professional sports. So um, to me, it's no different than having mini camps, looking at everybody, and then you have a few guys that you see right before training camp, you know, that are still free agents out there, that usually veteran guys that NFL says, okay, well, we're worried about this spot, you know, and so we go and sign somebody up there, so definitely. Not to ask for specifics, but has that happened yet at all? In your mind, you're like, we probably need somebody here as opposed to what you went in. Yeah, I mean, I, I do that every day, but I try to slow up and wait for all the practices, you know, because, um, you know, that that's better to have more input and not try to fix problems right now. And so just try to be patient with that. Well, you mentioned Mason Brooks has allowed you some versatility up front on the offensive line. What have you seen? He's very competitive. You know, we knew that on film and talking to people. But then, you know, when you get him, um, you know, he really loves ball, loves to work, loves to practice, loves to get better. Um, you know, very on the edge out there. You know, competitive, fighting type of mentality. So that's good. Really good. What have you seen from uh, from Michael Trick so far? He's obviously. 
I mean, I don't like telling this because everybody says this, but you know, he's probably told him this forever. I mean, his his potential is unbelievable. Um, you know, his catching radius and balance and body control is just they don't make many like that in the world. You know, and so um, he's done great things already. And it is crazy, like I told the staff, because we just kind of think of Portal as like free agency, like those are the older ones. This guy's in his second semester of college, which is crazy to think about when you see his skill set. So we're obviously really excited about him. What have you seen in the room back room so far, kind of handling the new guys, Evans and Bethany and Jenkins? Uh, good. You know, um, obviously that was, you know, losing three guys. You know, the three productive guy, most productive guys, you know, that was a huge emphasis for us and took us some time to get it finalized and, and all together. And so, you know, that's really exciting and just very unusual, you know, in college football to just replace like that and go to work with new guys. Um, so it's really, really good, challenging and exciting. Yeah, we would scrimmage. I don't know if we'd tackle, but yet, but um, we would scrimmage to get a better feel of, you know, how they play in game situations. You know, last year, Doc Terry took like a big jump from one year to the next. Is there anyone you're kind of expecting to, to take that jump for you guys? Um, I, I don't know specifically, um, and, and you kind of never know. You know, like I would, you probably being around here would know. I probably would have thought it would have been Braylon, you know, and then he had different injuries and and setbacks, um, and so it was Drummond who, who ended up being the most productive and having a great year. So um, I'm I'm not really sure who that would be.